Hey, how's it going? Okay, in this video, we're going to look at a spotlight effect in Premiere Pro. Really simple, just using an opacity mask and a little bit of keyframing. Really quick, we'll have this done in a couple of minutes, but it will add something extra to your title sequences when you can add it to your projects in the future. So let's just get stuck straight in. Okay, here we are, Premiere Pro. We've got a sequence already created and we've got a text layer just in here. And I've collapsed all of these options just so that we can see opacity because that's the only one that we need to worry about for this effect. If effect controls isn't showing, window, effect controls, and that will open up the panel. So we want to bring our scrubber to the start of our playline. We want to click on the create ellipsis mask under opacity and that will give us this shape. We'll tweak it a little bit just so we can kind of make it a little bit more circular and then shrink it down a bit. And we want to then adjust the mask feather. Now this is 1920 by 1080, this sequence. So the size of your feathering will depend on the kind of effect you actually want to get out of it and the resolution size and your font size. So 250 seems to be a nice kind of effect going on there. So I'll drag that right off the left hand side, click on the mask path keyframe, toggle animation stopwatch, drag the scrubber all the way to the far side, select mask one again, just to make it visible on screen, click it, hold shift, and that'll constrain it to a straight line, straight off to the right hand side, and that automatically generates a keyframe. So if we then go back and we hit play, we will see that the mask slowly moves across and lights up the letters as it goes. Pretty cool effect that you can just throw in there on titles if they're looking a little bit boring. And that's it. Super easy, super nice job done. All right, hope that was helpful, hope it's useful, and I will catch us next time.